Good evening, World Coin Talk community. Tonight we have an AMA with Daddy Shark. Um, they launched on the BS scan on the 10th of September. Uh, <clears throat> I'll pass it over to Scape Shark and they can tell us a bit about their background and um, Daddy Shark. Yeah, hey guys, how's it going? So I'm one of the uh, community managers from the Daddy Shark team, work hand in hand with the developers. Uh, just the quick 30,000 foot before we dig into the nitty gritty is that uh, we're built on the backbone of a custom rewards token. So the, the rewards are volume driven, of course, and you can set your token to any token on the BSC chain. So any of the PEG tokens, if you wanted. Uh, we're also today releasing our NFTs. They went live. Oh, about five hours ago. I think we've sold just under a thousand at this point. And in a week or two, we will be releasing our marketplace, which features quite a few mini games that will be a pay to earn. That's like the basic 30,000 foot view of everything. Awesome. And um, I see that 21 people have doxxed on the team to the community. How, do, how was that? Then? So, yeah, we originally doxxed under the Baby Shark Token project. And I, I would I would say maybe ten of the people from that original doxing are still involved with the day to day, and the other guys still kind of check in and do their social media jobs. Right. Yeah. So if we could go over the tokenomics a bit, there's three percent rewards in any of the tokens on the BS scan. Andy, you want to take it away? Sure. Yeah. Um. Was was he in the middle of explaining some tokenomics, or do you want me to yeah, take that? Yeah. Start with the tokenomics. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, as he was just saying, uh, 3% go to customizable rewards. Um, we have a token, a Daddy Shark token, as well as Daddy Shark NFTs. So these tokenomics apply to our token. Um, we launched as a customizable rewards token. So as Scup said, um, you know, you can customize your rewards to be any BSC token. 2% of the tax goes to uh, constant LP funding to make sure we have enough there. Uh, three percent of the tax goes to marketing and development funds to constantly push the project forward and gain additional exposure. Uh, One percent of the tax goes to Daddy Shark token buybacks, uh, just to ensure that we're constantly raising the floor. And on um, those tokens that are bought back, they're accumulated in our marketing wallet for future use in our game um, as liquidity, as well as future use for uh, token rewards in our marketplace, which um you know we can elaborate later. Uh, and one percent goes to our charity fund um, that's dedicated to charity donations to um, ocean conservation. Um, if anybody here was following Baby Shark before, uh, that was one of the main promises for that project, and that's something that we we really strive to um, to achieve is just having a lasting impact on the environment as well. So, um, just one percent of that will go to our charity fund, and that's pretty much our tokenomics. Okay. Um, so, did some of you come from Baby Shark over to Daddy Shark? Is that how it works? Yeah. So, um, as you said before, you know, we had a lot of doxxed members from Baby Shark. Um, we we are the Baby Shark like team, I guess you would say, but we were not the Baby Shark developers or the Baby Shark core team. Um, we were just like the community team. We were the people that were in the Discord and the Telegram every day, uh, just pushing to make the project possible. And Daddy Shark was kind of born out of that, and we we completely transitioned to Daddy Shark, so it it really is not related in any way to that. Um, we just you know kind of met each other through that, and now we're here at Daddy. I got you. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think Elon Musk tweeted about uh, Baby Shark. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, so yesterday you launched um, NFT. Uh, and I see, yeah, uh, each one's 0.2 BNB, but you do get a discount if you buy five. You get 0 0.25 BNB off. Uh, can you tell us about the NFTs, the mini game, and the and the larger game that's being created at the moment? Yeah, definitely. I can talk on that. So, um, Daddy Shark is kind of just an over overarching ecosystem in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, we have a lot of use cases besides our NFTs. So. Um, we originally launched with customizable rewards and we're staggering our other releases. So NFTs released today, um, as Scup said, you know, we'll have our marketplace that's already fully completed. Um, that will be released after these NFTs have had some chance to uh, mint. So we're thinking roughly a few weeks. Um, but pretty much, you know, as you mint our NFTs, you get a few rewards for minting and holding them. Um, every single holder of our NFTs earns BNB rewards just for holding them. 
Um, so obviously the earlier you buy in and the more you buy, the more BNB rewards you're gonna receive. Um, also in our F upcoming NFT marketplace, um, every single NFT minter will receive lifetime royalties on the NFT that they minted. So if they sell their NFT on our marketplace and that NFT gets passed around a lot on our marketplace, they will receive a cut of every single sale of the one that they minted. Um, and also, obviously, as um, you, you before, we have an upcoming play to earn game. Um, it's a full game from the ground up that will include our shark NFTs. Um, but before we have that in our NFT marketplace that will be coming out soon, we'll have mini games where you can actually interact with your shark NFTs. Um, if you mint one, you can kind of see that there's a card that comes with it. And we've kind of been um, showing pictures of those cards around. And um, those cards are going to be heavily used in our NFT marketplace mini games. Um, so that's definitely the next staggered release that will come out now that the minting page is fully active, fully live um, at daddysharknfts.com. Oh, awesome. And uh, is there a rarity to the uh, 10,000 NFTs produced? Yeah, so there's a rarity breakdown. There's five little, uh, there's five tiers, uh, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Um, also, for every single attribute, they're also individually um, assigned attributes and rare uh, attribute rarities. Uh, if you mint one, you can kind of see that there's percentages under each of the um, attributes. So it's like, oh, if you got a trident, it's like three percent um, of all sharks have trines or something. But it's not that uh, number. But um, yeah, there are rarities assigned, and those will be used in our future games. Yeah, yeah. See, so, uh, battle NFTs in your your upcoming play to earn game. Um, would you have an advantage with rarer um, sharks? Yeah, absolutely. You would have an advantage. And um, not only is it the rarity that plays into it, um, I'm not sure if I can post images in the, oh, I can't write anything. Okay. Um, well, if you yeah. min one, you can kind of see kinda that. DM me. I'd be happy to post anything you want in the chat right now. I got sure. You. Um, okay, great. Yeah. Um, yeah can you send him a picture? Some NFTs would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, but um, pretty much the rarities will definitely play a role um, because the rarer you have of an NFT, uh, the, the more powerful it's going to be in our mini game. But not only is the overall rarity, um, you know, taken into account, each of the individual attributes are also taken into account. So you have attacks like chomp, um, cunning, and fins that are displayed as you mint them. Um, you'll see kind of like a number from one to ten. Um, as to your power level in each of those categories, and those will be used in our future games. Very so, creative. So, so if, if you want to buy a, um, a Shark NFT, you, you go to your website and there's a link there, Shark NFT, is that where I would purchase one? Yeah, so we have a general website at daddysharktoken.com. That's our token and our NFT website. It's just a little bit about the project. Um, the actual minting page itself is daddysharknfts.com. It's also linked on our uh, general website. Um, and then we also have like a platform slash wallet kind of deal um, called the Shark Tank. It's found at tank.daddysharknfts.com. So once you mint an NFT, you can actually go to our Shark Tank to view it and also view every single attribute, um, also their rarity percentages. And once we have some mini games released, you can kind of go to the Shark Tank to interact with them. So, um, you know, we, we release this first before we release our NFT marketplace, just so people can kind of interact with them uh, initially. Right, yeah. Um, so you, you launched on the 10th of September. Could you tell us a bit about the history of the token and how it's been going the first month? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we launched a token um, about a month ago. So it obviously um, it went up and then there was the typical paper hand like profit taking off of presale. Um, but as you can see from the chart, we never dipped below presale levels. The team is still holding strong. I haven't sold a single token myself. And, you know, while we we would maybe release it a little bit later in hindsight, you know, hindsight's always 2020. Um, we feel that the fact that we released a month before our NFT launch kind of shows that we're here for the long run and we're here to establish legitimacy. We're not here to try to like 10 or 100 times and then rug and then leave. Um, you know, we, we've been developing the token and the NFTs for over three months now before we launched so that we could have a product ready um, that we could put our names behind and that we're proud of. And we're not scrambling to kind of push out some some half-assed like project for you guys after we launch. So 
Um, yeah, the token's been doing good. It's back on the upwards trajectory now, obviously, since the whole market is kind of recovering. Um, and we hope that, you know, we're going to continue this upward path. Yeah, I see the liquidity is very healthy, at around 40% for uh, Daddy Sean. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a great ratio. Yeah, 100% of our pre-sale went into liquidity. Yeah, we locked 100% for 18 months. Um, and really, the reason why we launched so early is we were trying to be like a transition token for Baby Shark, a use case token to make good on the promises that were sold by the original team. So um, that's the reason basically why we launched so early when you look at it back now that we thought we were going to be that lifeboat and we brought over like 500 people so that's probably pretty accurate based on how the token was when we did that awesome uh, i know they've only launched a few hours ago um how's it going since the launch of the nfts i think we're pushing out like 700 plus sold so they're not flying out the door but they're steady you know they're slowly but steady making their way out and we're starting mm -hmm. to you know turn up the marketing presence and get more eyes Sounds on us good. Uh, yeah, the the launch really, hours. um, yeah, the launch kind of went as good as we could have hoped. Really, um, you know, as we said before, we we partnered with um, Elwin and the marketing team that you guys know, and uh, they really just kicked off the marketing push, and they have a lot of stuff planned. So it kind of worked out for the best because we were able to give our like established and loyal community of holders um, a really good entry point to get in early, so they can get those um like nice rewards because the earlier you buy um the more nft rewards you get um so now that you know most of our really loyal holders have got in now that the marketing push can can kick off um we can get everybody else you know loaded into this project so it kind of did work out <laughs> oh, just so you guys know the artist is actually uh one of our moderators girlfriends she's uh, brazilian and they live up in canada so she's super talented so look out for her name miss goose because you're going to see her go places in the nft scene after this Awesome. Um, and you've had a Watchtower audit. How did that go? I take it you passed with flying colors. Joe's yeah, a bad one, so. Yeah, we did. You can check it out on our website. Uh, we, we passed with flying colors, as you said, and um, they gave us a really good endorsement, which is uh, we're really happy about. So, yeah, the token itself is safe, and our NFTs are obviously already out. So, yeah. And you've just launched a, a new dashboard as well on the website. Right, yeah, the rewards dashboard is for our token. Um, as we mentioned before, we have customizable rewards uh, by holding Daddy Shark token. You can, you know, get any other BSC token in existence as your default reward. Um, and we actually launched that with the token on um, September 10th, as you said, or September 9th. Um, but yeah, as we said, like we were developing this project way before uh, we even launched so that we could have that stuff ready for everybody. And we weren't just eating out a token with, with no product behind it. Um, so, yeah. All right. Awesome. And I see, like you say, you've got 1% uh, going towards ocean conservation. Has anything been donated on that side yet? Or... Yeah, actually, uh, one of our divers is in chat. His name's Hit uh, Hitman Shark. And they Hello. just got back from there. You want to tell them what you did? Don't yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. So I just got back uh, on the 30th. We did a lionfish culling expedition. Uh, lionfish are a big problem in the Atlantic, having no natural predators and being introduced from the Indo-Pacific. And they outcompete and outbreed the native fish and cause massive damage to the reef ecosystems around here because they reduce local fish populations. And so we did an expedition out funded by Daddy Shark to go spearfish these lionfish. And the great thing about them is that they also happen to be edible and taste extremely good. So we were able to sell most of the lionfish that we caught to a local fish market, which not only made back some of the money spent on the charter, but also means that we're expanding the market for lionfish and hopefully bringing more people in to lower those lionfish numbers and fight the invasion. Awesome. Sounds great. Yeah, and we have one more expedition lined up that'll also take place down in Florida in the Florida Keys. Uh, it'll be a repeat. Uh, it's a diving expedition where they'll be retrieving trash, and uh, they've now received all of their uh, NOAA licenses and permits to do that legally. So it took about six about months six for them to get those. So we're super excited about that one. Yep, and uh, aside from those expeditions, we're also going to be partnering with ocean conservation charities for regular donations. Uh, we kind of just went ahead with these dives since the, been, um, they've been things that we've been kind of aiming to do for a very long time. And 
um, yeah, we just kind of wanted to fund them and, and get them started. So yeah, as, as Scott said, um, our, our cleanup dives are going to start real soon. Awesome. <clears throat> and so with the rewards, if, if I invest, um, how do I set that 3% to the token I want on, on the website? How, how would they go about that? Um, so the rewards can be customized through our rewards dashboard, which is linked on our site. It's actually daddysharktoken.com slash dashboard. Um, so there, that's where you can customize your token rewards. So um, by holding Daddy Shark token, you earn rewards. Um, but also by holding um, the NFTs, so not the token, um, you earn BNB rewards. And um, as I mentioned before, that's done through the Shark Tank. Um, the Shark Tank is where you can actually view the NFTs you, um, that you own, as well as claim the rewards that you have earned. Um, you know, if you speak to any buyer of the the NFTs, they can tell you that the rewards have been really nice. Like at least for me, um, they surprised me by how much the rewards were. I've already made back a decent amount of my minting costs. So, um, yeah, there's two different sets of rewards uh, for holding both the token and the NFTs. And um, so the, the sales of the NFTs, um, what will the money be used for from that towards marketing and things? Right. So um, we have a we have a breakdown and um, a, a portion of them will go to buybacks of Daddy so that we can connect the token to the NFTs, um, a pretty big portion, actually. And, um, you know, because the token will be used in our NFT marketplace and our games. But currently with the minting page, it's not um, as connected as um, the other use cases that we have coming out. So um, the buybacks will be huge. Um, a portion obviously um, will go toward marketing and developing just to continue to develop the project and push it forward. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much where the majority of them will go. Uh, for now, we're just pretty much accumulating it because we, we are about to launch a really big buyback campaign on Daddy. So we're just figuring out exactly how we're going to do that because we want to split it between NFT buybacks and token buybacks. So uh, we're definitely going to release um, you know more finalized information once we get that nailed down. Awesome. Um, and is there a breakdown of the rarity of, of out of the 10,000 as how many in total would be rare and epic and that sort of thing? Yeah, there's already a full breakdown. Uh, before we released it, we we like painstakingly went through every attribute to assign a rarity value. And then just through basic math of multiplication, we, we can figure out the rarity overall. Um, so roughly there's about 40 legendaries total. Um, and a few have already been minted. So uh, we can release more of the data soon, which is we're trying to clean it up in, in more of like a, a friendly way of, of viewing it because right now it's like a giant spreadsheet. So uh, we'll definitely release that soon once it's cleaned up. I just sent over a bunch of our uh, tokenomics videos and such that, so that they're more easier to absorb if you want to check your DMs. Right. Um, yeah, the uh, sharks look amazing. They're the ones I've seen in chat here. Awesome. I bet the community go FOMO when they get rare and epic ones. <laughs> yeah, so far that's what we've seen. Um, the community's really rallying around the fact like how high quality they are and how nice the attributes are. Uh, we have so many attributes that we can mint way more than 10,000 unique ones. So we really picked um, the ones that we thought looked the best. And um, there's just so many that there's no way you're going to get like anything that looks similar to something else you own. So, yeah. Right, I, I, I've not seen what's been sent over, but um, oh, yeah, so, I, mean, yeah, he, I sent him to uh, what's his name? What is it? Um, he might be <clears> throat> okay, throat> yeah, if he's not around, I'll but um, I mean, we support um, all the projects that do an AMA here, so you're welcome to come in the future and post in our text chat, uh, or send me DMs and I can post it for you on the updates for uh, Daddy's chat um progress and uh yeah if he's not back um I'll that's something that you as well so but yeah both sides yeah mate, let's have a look uh i'm gonna look but um come on internet do you think there we go Can't see anything coming in yet. Um, if, if we uh, unlock the chat, you'd be able to post them yourself, actually. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, I think I sent them to the wrong person yet again. But you'll get them in a sec. No problem. 
Um, right, so carry on. Um, so yeah, what, what's the marketing plans going, stepping forward then for Daddy Shark? Yeah, so um, we partnered with the marketing team that you guys are friends with, as we were talking about earlier, um, Elwin and his squad that was the marketing team for Ghostface. Um, if anybody knows them, they were a really big token at the time. Um, so they have a really good plan laid out for us, and we've been working really closely with them to narrow that down. Uh, right before we launched the NFTs today at noon, our uh, PooCoin ads went up. Uh, so they'll be going up um, high frequency ads. So we paid extra just to make sure we get extra exposure uh, for the first few days. And then we'll be kind of tapering that off to a longer campaign that's um, kind of slower per day. So um, those will always be running in the background. Uh, we also really want to focus on Reddit. We have a lot of subreddit tweets up um, in NFT and crypto subreddits that are already at the top of the subreddit. And those are getting good traffic as well. Um, we also obviously have the the typical like um, Coin Sniper, Coin Hunt, um, the different like crypto platforms and the websites themselves uh, getting listed on that and just getting more exposure through that. Um, we have a raid bot as well um, that we uh, are setting up and we have been running through today and it's really nice. Um, it does a lot for us and um, as well as the sweep widget. Um, sweep widget campaign will also be launching very soon. So we just have a lot of the general marketing um, going on, but the fact that we're working with an experienced team, um, they kind of just know what works and they have data on what works, having taken polls in their old communities. So it's not kind of just like like trying to just spend as much money as we can on stuff that we don't even know works. Uh, we kind of just have a more efficient way of spending our money with this marketing team. So um, yeah, we're really excited. And as we said, it kind of just kicked off. We didn't really push too hard into launch. Um, and it kind of worked out for the best since everybody that's been a super loyal holder for us since baby, um, you know, can get in early on our NFTs and get those rewards. So, um, yeah, it's going to be kicking off real soon. Awesome. So if I buy an NFT and the price skyrockets, um, some people, investors might want to sell. So can you sell as well as buy them at the moment? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can. Um, you, you can obviously sell the NFTs. I mean, they're on the blockchain. They're in your wallet once you buy them. Um, but as I said before, we're going to have our own custom NFT marketplace. It's it's fully completed, really. Um, and we're just we're just holding on to it because it doesn't make sense for us to release it now. It kind of just devalues all f all the NFTs that have yet to be minted. Um, so we're going to allow for some time for the NFTs to mint. Um, and you know, hopefully sell out before we put the NFT marketplace out that has our NFT games. Um, and our marketplace isn't only gonna be compatible for sharks, you can sell pretty much any NFT on our marketplace. So um, more details will come out soon, but uh, that's definitely something that we're gonna have. Awesome. Uh, and with the marketplace, sorry, how, how are you gonna compete with them? Um, you know, there's some quite big uh, marketplaces in, you know, Binance Smart Chain doesn't really have that many big ones. It's more Ethereum and Selena. Uh, how are you going to compete? Like, what's going to be unique about the, you know, the marketplace that you have apart from the game side of it? You know, the actual where I go on there and mint an NFT. What makes it come to you? Right. So, um, I, you know, we we can't release every single feature that we have, but we do have a lot of unique features in our marketplace. Um, our team has a lot of collective experience in the crypto space and in BSC, so we know kind of what's already out there, what's been done, what's the cookie cutter, you know, forking marketplace out there. So, um, for ours at least, you're gonna you're gonna initially have um, like a profile section where you can actually view everything that you're holding in terms of NFTs. Um, and it not only shows you a view, it, it shows you a breakdown of rarities in terms of percentages and ranks um, out of the full set that, that they have, like out of 10,000 NFTs. Um, and then also, you know, we're, we're gearing this initially to provide a place for the shark NFTs to be sold. But as I said before, they can list any NFTs on our marketplace, really. So um, because of that, we hope to be able to partner with other NFTs to gain more exposure. Uh, we also have um, a feature that I can't really say what the name is, uh, but it's very similar to breeding um, where you can combine NFTs. Um, and I, I can't really say more, much more than that because we've already seen copycats come out. So um, I'm just going to keep that under wraps, but we have I think a lot I know of what you mean. Like, there, there is like buying a pet uh, where you can breed the dragons, which is pretty cool. So I'm guessing with yours, you can breed sharks. Right. But, but there's also some other things I can't really talk about, <laughs> but um, it, it's definitely it's a similar process. To yeah, it's similar. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's I, I lossy breeding. Yeah. Like kind of release everything. Yeah, all the mm -hmm. uh, 
details because people will start copying it. Uh, right. Yeah, we've already seen that. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm curious about your development team, like kind of are the in-house developers doing the marketplace? Are they outsourcing it? Yeah, so um, yeah, that's something I want to touch on as well. Uh, our our developers are in-house, so we brought them in from another project that I was uh, I'm familiar with, and I've been friends with these developers for a while. So um, they work for us, and we also have a really big team. As you said before, we had um, over 21 docs, and we have over 20 people on the team. Um, which is helpful for us because we have in-house pretty much everything. We have in-house graphic designers, um, in-house community managers, um, in-house market now. Um, so, um, you know, as as we you saw in our Telegram, I'm not sure if you've been keeping track, but um, you know, a feature was requested where um, holders can see the percent rarities for all of their attributes in the Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we pushed an update right away uh, within hours of that update. Um, we, we pushed it live to the Shark Tank. So now you can see percent attributes, um, percent rarities for all your attributes. So um, yeah, our, our in-house uh, technical developers are really useful for just constantly keeping us you know, at the front of the, like, the scene and, and updating our product to be uh, competitive. You, you might have already explained this, but uh, have you got any plans to bridge to other networks like Ethereum or? Yeah, so um, you know, we, we really want to focus on BSC now because this is kind of where we've started our token and where we've launched the NFTs. We're definitely not closing the door um, for other chains. That's definitely something we're interested in, but um, due to the fact that you know we're so focused on this project right now, we don't want to kind of devalue our product by just release like mass releasing it on um, like Soul and like like ADA and stuff. It's just um. You know, we see that happen a lot. We see serial launchers um, launching products, and obviously, you know, they sell out and do well. Um, but in, in terms of the long-term value, they kind of just leave to the next one. Then, you know, what's left? You know, the the project kind of just dies, and the product dies, and the the floor, you know, dies. So, you know, uh, just I, I, I think if you like, you could bridge your marketplace to cover, you know, like Ethereum, Polygon, uh, you know, bad at Smart Chain, because I think they're all very similar, like kind of in the background. So, I don't right. think it's too difficult to do it. Uh, I think oh, it just, okay. It, it, it didn't mean that yeah, more customers ethics. are coming to you. If, if you want to compete with different marketplaces, then as you know, the high value NFTs are not really on Binance Smart Chain. Right. Uh, you know, that the, they're mostly on Ethereum, or I think now Celine is getting quite a lot of traction there as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think if you want to compete on, on a, a realistically, you're going to have to uh, move away from Binance Smart Chain. You obviously can have it. Binance Smart Chain is your starting point, but I think you have to move to other over networks really yeah yeah um yeah, I, I didn't realize you were talking about, yeah i didn't realize you were talking about our marketplace um we we definitely have plans to make our marketplace compatible with other chains that's that's pretty simple for our technical developers um i've already talked to them about it and we've been working on the marketplace for months now so um it, it's absolutely possible to make other chains um sellable on our marketplace we're currently kind of debating between whether we want to launch um only bsc and then update it to um other chains as we move to other chains ourselves like in our project um but i totally agree that you know, you see these huge value NFT projects on ETH and, and Soul, and we want to provide um, an avenue for them to interact with us as well. Um, so it's de okay, definitely yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's promising. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, so if some of our investors want to buy some of the uh, cool dad daddy shark ones you've posted as well, um, well, they're, they're probably gone now, but uh, what, what what's the price breakdown? I know, I know you get a discount the, the more you buy. Yeah. Yeah, so um, the price breakdown for minting is 0.2 BNB for one, and we have bulk discounts. So if you mint three, it's 0.53 BNB, and if you mint five, it's 0.75 BNB. So you actually save a pretty big chunk there. You save about like a quarter of a BNB if you mint five. Um, and if you go to our minting page at the very bottom of the minting page, you just keep scrolling. That's where the, the bulk um, discounts are. Um, so don't click that minting button at the very top. Just go to the bottom and you'll see like min three, min five, min one. Um, and the price floor, you know, that's that's kind of up to other people to decide. I've really seen, I've actually seen people already trade um, NFTs. You know, they see a picture posted like, whoa, like I like that. I want, I want that one over mine. Like I'll trade you. Um, and we have a function for that in our Shark Tank. Um, there's a transfer uh, section so that you can do it safely. Um, and this is obviously, you know, predating our NFT marketplace where you're going to be able to do this uh, much like in a much more secure way and also like include other features like bidding and such. So 
um yeah yeah for the pricing that's that's currently minting is the price floor i guess you could say um so yeah 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 so if you buy five you basically you're only paying for four compared to mm -hmm. buying them like singly plus a bit of b and b change over that yeah so that's great if you're buying bulk and then more more chance to get the rare and the epic mm -hmm. um, Right, I can open it up to uh, the team or investors if anyone's got any questions for Daddy Shark. Yeah, I got I got a, a few questions. So first off, uh, you said the, the rewards are customizable. So if uh, if I just buy the token, do I have to go in the dashboard or is there a default reward? Uh, the default reward is BNB. So you'll earn BNB by holding Daddy Shark token if you just buy it and don't touch anything. If you want to change it to a different BSC token, you got to go to our dashboard and enter the contract address of that token into the, the field. It's pretty self-explanatory. You'll see it. Um, it'll just ask you for it. So you can make it like you can make it Binance pegged coins too. So I know a lot of people like Cardano um, and they will use uh, Binance pegged ADA as their... Uh, their rewards. So yeah, you can hold the token, earn those rewards, and then hold the NFTs and earn BNB. So it's just uh, whatever you want. Okay, cool. So it's just BNB for default. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, I was looking at the, the roadmap. You say here you're going to have a staking and farming as well? Yes, yes, definitely. That is, again, part of our staggered, uh, staggered release. So um, we're currently on the NFT minting release. Um, this, the staking will definitely be one of the features that we're really excited about but it's not out yet um it will be out around the time that our marketplace will be out nice cool yeah i, I was just uh, checking out the website i see you also got uh, a podcast i'm gonna give it a go for that one i see you're on episode 10 already who what was that about? <laughs> is it just about the expeditions or what's going on there yes yeah, so like, um I was... baby shark that's why there's so many of them yeah, as I said before, um, we, we have a really big team here. So uh, a lot of the team is dedicated to our community. Uh, we have like developers and um, the core team, obviously. But um, Finn, I don't think he's here today. He's at work right now. But he um, has taken charge on our podcast and he's been killing it. Um, he also like often leads our meetings and uh, you'll probably hear his voice around a lot if you listen to those. So uh, he's in charge of those and we have a big community, um, a, a big group of community managers who, who manage this stuff like that like, in, in our blog as well. Awesome. Yeah, cool. I'll just Thank you. Thank you. Looks nice. Chat here. Rene, one of our team members, has just minted five and he got four rare ones. So he's wow. <laughs> That's better than I got. I got a bunch of comments on it, not going to lie. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, yeah. Um, any questions from the uh, community or um, Daddy Sharks community or the team? No. Okay. Um, well, yeah, it's been great having I have you. A question. And if, oh, okay. Yeah, ask. Take it away. So, regarding the common, rare, like, what are the different, um, like, how common is common, and how rare is rare, and is there another super rare type of variety? Yes. Yeah, so the the rarity breakdowns are common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary, and that's it. We only have five. Um, and the breakdowns will be releasing um, like a more like visually friendly way, a breakdown of all the different rarities. Um, the only thing I can tell you now is like there's roughly forty legendaries, um, and one of them has already been minted in the first hundred. So um, yeah, it's it's currently just a huge spreadsheet of every single one. So I'm gonna have to clean that up before I show it. Um, but yeah, there, there's only five rarities and uh, commons are, re are really common. As you see, most of them will be commons and it just slowly decreases in rarity until there's only 40 legendaries total out of 10,000. But they're all unique still. All 10,000 10, are unique. Every NFT is unique. You'll never find a repeat. There's no yeah, repeat and, pizza hole. And there's still got the value in, in the games, the upcoming game uh, for all the sharks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll definitely provide an actual long-term use case for these, um, so they're not just pretty sharks to look at. <laughs> awesome. Um, any more questions from community or Daddy Sharks community? If, if not, I can yeah ask you all to uh, anything we've missed, uh, if you want to add anything at the end here. You got anything to say, Scott? No, I'm, I'm good to go. Thanks for having us, guys. Thanks for the questions. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, I just want to say real quick before we leave, um, you know, we're, we're like launched our NFT minting today and we're really excited about that. Um, but this is not the end game for us. You know, we've, we've tried to show from the very beginning that we made a ton of promises about our use cases. We, we have over six use cases um, and we've slowly been delivering on every single one. Uh, we released with our customizable rewards. We have our minting page out now after months of development. Um, and, you know, we make all these huge promises about our marketplace and, and people can be like, oh, these promises are never going to be met. Like they're going to just ditch it. But, you know, from our history, I hope you can see that we're serious about it. And we're here to develop a product that we're proud of. And we're here to develop a product for our community. So, um, yeah, I'm glad to glad for you guys to have us today and uh, have a really good AMA. So thanks. Yeah, I just want to say real quick as well for anyone that wants to know, like, where's the proof you've done this stuff? We'll definitely be having the video on the expedition, at least coming out soon. So pay attention to the socials for that. If you want your proof of our conservation efforts as well. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a, a great AMA. Thank you very much for coming, guys. Like I say, keep us updated in the text chat. I'm sure many of our investors do love NFTs. They'll be uh, buying and uh, they can come over to your Telegram. Do you have the voice chat open regular? Uh, people can ask questions. Yep. Regularly open. Um, not like all the time, but it's usually yeah. open. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So if anyone uh, listens to this recording, um, which many do when they're, you know, different times in international places uh people are sleeping so yeah uh if anyone wants to head over to your uh, telegram and yeah like i say come to our text chat and keep us updated on the project daddy shark sounds awesome great thanks for having us yeah we had a great time